Hey everyone, I wanted to get back into reading. I haven't read a book in a really long time. The first book I ever read was The Hatchet and I still have the book. As you can tell, it's pretty beaten up, but it was the first book that made me realize that I enjoyed reading. After The Hatchet, I actually moved more into poetry, so I read a lot of R.H. Sin and Rupi, and after that, I moved into more self-growth books by Ryan Holiday, and then I just stopped reading for a bit. I'm not really sure what happened there, so I've been wanting to get back into reading, and what better way than to go to one of the happiest places on earth barnes and nobles i'm going to barnes and noble i went to barnes and nobles not knowing what i was gonna get just because there's a lot of genres to choose from there's fiction horror which i thought about because of stephen king fantasy young adult and then i came across the mystery thrillers i remember someone recommending riley sager to me so i picked up one of his books called lock every door and i actually read some of it while i was in barnes and nobles and i was hooked and i took it home so this is the book that i'm talking about like i said it's called lock every door by riley sager i'm gonna read the back of the book to you guys so you guys can get an idea of what it's about her dream apartment her worst nightmare after responding to a mysterious newspaper advertisement Jules Larson gets a job as an apartment sitter at the Bartholomew, one of Manhattan's most famous and secretive buildings. At first, the extravagance of the Bartholomew feels like a lucky break for recently heartbroken, penniless Jules, who has been haunted by misfortune for most of her life. But when a fellow apartment sitter in the building goes missing, Jules begins to suspect there are dark forces at work behind the Bartholomew's glamorous facade. Digging deeper into the building's past, Jules soon realizes that the Bartholomew is more dangerous than she thought, and that escape may be impossible. <sighs> I read the back of that and I was honestly intrigued. So I read the first like entry and that's when I decided I was hooked and I just had to read it. In the book, it goes from present to past, present to past throughout the entire thing. It actually makes the book way more interesting. I wanna read the first part to you guys um, that got me hooked onto the book. That way it can help make a better decision for you guys. The first part is in present day. Light slices the darkness, jerking me awake. My right eye, someone's prying it open. Latex gloved fingers part the lids, yanking on them like they're stubborn window shades. There's more light now, harsh, painfully bright. A pen light aimed at my pupil. The same is done to my left eye. Pry, part, light. The fingers release my lids and I'm plunged back into darkness. Someone speaks, a man with a gentle voice. Can you hear me? I open my mouth and a hot pain circles my jaw. Stray bolts of it jab my neck and cheek. Yes, my voice is a rasp, my throat is parched. So are my lips, save for a single slick spot of wet warmth with a metallic taste. Am I bleeding? You are, says the same voice as before, just a little. Could have been worse, a lot worse, another voice says. Where am I? The voice answers, a hospital, honey. We're taking you for some tests. We need to see how banged up you really are. It dawns on me that I'm in motion. I can hear the hum of wheels on tile and feel the slight wobble of a gurney I just now realize I'm flat backed upon. Until now, I had thought I was floating. I try to move, but can't. My arms and legs are strapped down. Something is pythoned around my neck, holding my head in place. Others are with me, three that I know of the two voices and someone else pushing the gurney. Warm huffs of breath brush my earlobe. Let's see how much you can remember. It's the first voice again, the big talker of the bunch. Think you can answer some questions for me? Yes. What's your name? Jules, I stop, irritated by the warm wetness still on my lips. I try to lick it away, my tongue flopping. Jules Larson. Hi, Jules, the man says. I'm Bernard. I want to say hello back, but my jaw still hurts as does my entire left side from knee to shoulder, as does my head. It's a quick boil of pain, going from non-existent to screaming in seconds. Or maybe it's been there all along and only now is my body able to handle it. 
How old are you, Jules? Bernard asks. 25, I stop, overcome with a fresh blast of pain. What happened to me? You were hit by a car, honey, Bernard says. Or maybe the car was hit by you. We're still kind of unclear on the details. I can't help in that department. This is breaking news to me. I don't recall anything. When? Just a few minutes ago. Where? Right outside the Bartholomew. My eyes snap open, this time on their own. I blink against the harsh fluorescence sipping by overhead as the gurney speeds along. Keeping pace is Bernard. He has a dark skin, bright scrubs, brown eyes. They're kind eyes, which is why I stare into them, pleading. Please, I beg. Please don't send me back there. And then it flashes back to the past. And after I had read that, I was just pretty much sold on the book and I was definitely gonna get it. I honestly rate this book five stars. It's been a really long time where I found a book that I was reading and I didn't want to put it down until I finished it. You definitely won't be disappointed if you read this, but it is like a mystery thriller. So if you're not really into those, probably don't read it, but it is still a really good book. I hope this video helped you guys if you're getting back into reading or if you're just looking for a new book to read. Don't forget to subscribe for more book content in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye!